And next on our plate is a story of love and royalty. In the United States, she was an actress, director, and beauty queen. And now, she's a Nigerian queen. Angelique Monet Gureje Thompson married the monarch of Etioni in Ocean State last year. In this report, she speaks to Damilola Udolo about how she's embracing her new life and also about a very special skill she's brought to the kingdom. From beauty queen to royal queen. Thank you for letting us into your kingdom. Thank you so much for coming. This is a royal majesty, Queen Angelique Mone, born in America, now the wife of a Nigerian king. How do you want to be addressed, Olori, Your Highness, Queen Angelique? Well, I am actually the Yeye Lua Olori of Etioni. Queen Angelique came to live in this rural community in southwest Nigeria after marrying in 2021. So how did she adapt to the change from a showbiz life in America? Wow. Well, I'm, first of all, it's something that I'm really proud of because the first time I stepped foot in Africa, I'm married to a king and I have a long and long-standing um, road to go ahead and for Etioni and our people and I'm just really happy to be here. It's just like a fairy tale that came true. How did you meet your husband, the king? <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> we get asked that a lot. Um, well, we've known of each other and we've known each other for a while and, um, and it was actually our humanitarian projects that really brought us together. Um, which was like, uh, to me, it's a fate from God. It was an easy adjustment because I've always loved Africa and I've always loved Nigeria. And then I learned um, through the transatlantic slave trade, some of the, even my ways would come from Yoruba traditions. So um, it's been a beautiful adjustment. And um, to be honest, I feel like as long as you're willing to give to the people, then it makes you your, your job a lot easier. What Queen Angelique gives to the people here, especially the children, is a unique skill of ventriloquism. I started doing it for humanitarian reasons. When I say humanitarian, I mean to make a difference for over a decade now. So I had retired from acting as well as performing full time. But the ventriloquism is something that I've been doing um, around the world to make people happy because it does. This is milk. Milk, I would like you to meet all of our friends again. I already know who they are. Yes, I know that you know. It's at the only cocoa, the oldest cocoa plantation in all of Nigeria. That's right. And where are you from? The United States of America that now I live here in Etioni. That's right. So are you all ready to welcome Milk to be here, to live here with you, Milk the Cow? Say yay! Yeah. I got into it because I was actually bullied. Yeah, it was, it was rough, but um, it was the rare art of ventriloquism that my mother told me, and guess what? The bullies became my friends because Gracie the pig they loved, and we became friends after. But is the acting life truly over for Queen Angelique? Uh, actually, His Majesty and I are working on a few film projects and, and uh, some animations, as well as telling um, the history of, of, of our kingdom and, and the good work we're doing. So, um, so you, but you could say I'm retired from acting full-time and performing. So Nollywood film industry is huge. Is that something you've, you know, you'd consider being part of? You know something, any, any great story, um, as the palace has let me know that they support me doing things that make a difference. So if it's a beautiful story and it happens to be Nollywood, definitely we're open-minded to it. Awesome stuff. Still to come on Just Nigeria. Women in Malawi build resilient toilets. We'll bring you the story after the break. Stay with us.